Finding not one, but two statues of cowboys is something you wouldn't expect in Glasgow, but there they are, at opposite ends of the city. One is of a fictional cowboy, the other is of a legendary one, so you might think a lot of the stories about him may be fiction as well. The fictional character is Lobby Dosser from a newspaper cartoon strip. The other is the great showman Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill's statue is in the East End, not far from Duke Street in Deniston. The reason for it being there is Buffalo Bill's Wild West show played there in the East End Exhibition Centre at the end of 1892 and beginning of 1893. The statue is sited in a garden, which has an old wall and railings round it, and on what used to be the original gate is carved Girls' Entrance, which is a hint that this used to be a school. It was in fact Whitehill School, which was just behind the East End Exhibition Centre. The first things you will notice about the statue are that it is tiny and sits high up on a pole. This comes as a bit of a shock, as we are used to seeing life-sized or larger statues commemorating things. Looking at the statue itself, you will see a very dynamic sculpture of Buffalo Bill riding a bucking bronco. If you look at the shape of it, you will see that it's actually made up of several curves, both at the front and side. Standing it on a pole helps the drama, as you have to look up, which makes the movement much more obvious and frames it against the sky or backdrop of the surrounding buildings. This creates a pretty dramatic result. Meanwhile, at the other end of the city in Woodlands Road, as you walk along, you will come to an area of grass and trees. You might then notice, on the corner, a strange-looking statue. This is the other statue of a cowboy. In this case, it's a character who was popular in the local papers in the cartoon strip Sheriff Lobby Dosser of Calton Creek, which was created by Bud Neal in 1949. The reason for it being here is that the guys who thought up the idea of the statue were drinking in the bar across the road at the time. In this case, the statue is possibly almost life-sized. It's certainly a lot bigger than the one of Buffalo Bill. This is a much more relaxed statue, with the horse, Effie, looking like she should be leaning on a post. And yes, the horse does have only two legs. Sitting on the horse is Sheriff Lobby Dosser, and behind him the cartoon's main villain, Rank Badgen. While the statue is, not surprisingly, cartoonish in style, there are lots of small details to catch the eye, like the tackety boots, the handcuffs Rank Badgen is wearing, or the sheriff's badge. When you saw his left gun holster, you may have wondered whether the other one would have an R on it. But no, it's a D for Dosser. It's also odd that Lobby Dosser looks like he's quite active while his horse is standing still. This isn't the only statue from the Lobby Dosser cartoon. There's another in the Partick Transport Hub of the GI Bride. <laughs> 